Hello and welcome to Ashwa's Tech Bites, where we break down complex tech topics into easily digestible insights. Today we are diving into a technology that has revolutionized how software is developed and deployed. Containerization. Ever heard a developer say, "Well, it works on my machine"? We are going to explore why that phrase is so common and how containerization offers a powerful solution moving beyond the traditional approach of virtual machines or VMs. So before we jump into containers let's quickly touch upon something many of you might be familiar with now virtualization Imagine you have a powerful physical server say 32 with 32 gigs of RAM and 32 cores of CPU just like this one virtualization through a technology called hypervisor allows you to slice up the single physical server into multiple independent virtual machines or VMs Think of it like an apartment building shown over here. The building is the physical hardware and each apartment is a VM. It gets its own operating system, its own kernel, its own services and your application runs on top of this virtual machine. This was a huge step forward allowing for better hardware utilization than just running one application on one giant server. but of course it comes with its own limitations we will see that on the other hand in case of containerization if you see we are going to share the os kernel and the services that means this physical box will have only one operating system and then you install a special software called container runtime it could be docker it could be podman it could be container d anything and then each and every container will run on top of this runtime and your application will sit in one of these containers for example so while virtualization is great it comes with its own challenges this brings us to the classic developer lament it works on my machine picture this a developer writes code on the laptop it runs perfectly you have got all the right libraries correct versions of software everything is just so but then when that same code is moved to a testing environment or even worse to the live production server things break why because those environments might have different configurations different dependency versions or even missing components it's a recipe for frustration and delays and what about vm themselves well they can be quite hefty each vm remember has a full operating system this means they are often large measured in gigabytes they can slow to they are slow to boot and you have to manage and patch multiple operating system instances separately which is a significant overhead especially if you are running a smaller applications on these virtual machines so imagine this you just want to run probably one database service and you want to have five instances of those services you might end up using five virtual machines to get that isolation it's like needing to build an entire separate house with all its infrastructure just to host a small garden shed you're getting me right so if vms have this limitation what's the alternative for many modern applications you may ask well enter containerization So what is a container? Imagine standardized shipping containers. Before these metal boxes, shipping goods was a chaotic process. But the standardized containers have revolutionized global trade because they provide a consistent unit that can hold anything and be moved easily by any compatible transport like ships, trains, trucks, anything. A software container is very similar. It's a standardized package that holds your application code and everything it needs to run like libraries dependencies configuration files everything So essentially imagine this red box is a container this box is your application and other boxes are like all the dependencies that it needs while it runs and going one level up the image of the container the the format of the container is standardized as well it's called oci what it means is that 
it gives you freedom to choose your own container runtime but you can have one single image that will run on any of the container runtimes be it docker be it podman be it container d anything now you can relate how this standardization has made life easier for all of us this packaging approach brings some incredible benefits let's break them down further first portability and consistency this directly tackles the it works on my machine problem because the container includes all dependencies it works on the developer's machine if it works on the developer machine it will work in testing it will work in production it will run anywhere you build it once and it can truly run anywhere that suppose the container runtime your same container can run on windows or mac or even linux environment inconsistencies are virtually eliminated second efficiency and resource utilization containers are much more lightweight than vms they don't need a full operating system for each application instead they share the host kernel this means you can run a significantly larger number of containers on a single server compared to vms they are low on resource utilization because they only package what the application needs and not the entire operating system think of it as having many small studio apartments in that building rather than having few large resource hungry penthouses third speed and agility because they are lightweight containers have incredibly fast startup times often milliseconds compared to multiple seconds or even minutes for virtual machines this makes it easy to scale your applications up or down quickly based on the demand if you suddenly get a surge in traffic you can spin up new containers rapidly this speed also makes them ideal for modern software development practices like continuous integration and continuous delivery or simply ci cd where you constantly building testing and deploying code and fourth isolation while containers share the same host kernel they are isolated from each other at the application level each container run its in own user space which means if a container crashes or has an issue it generally does not impact any other containers running on the same machine this provides incredible stability and security so to recap virtualization gave us vms which are like separate houses on a piece of land each with its own full infrastructure or even apartments in the same building maybe bigger apartments containerization gives us something more like efficiently designed apartments within a single building like sharing common infrastructure uh, maybe gym or clubhouses in in our case the os kernel but each self contained and providing everything its tenant like the application needs so to recap virtualization gave us vms which are like separate houses on a piece of land or even separate apartments in the same building with its own full infrastructure like penthouses for example containerization gives us something more like efficiently designed apartments like studios within the same building sharing common infrastructure like the os kernel but self but each self contained and providing everything its tenant like the application needs containers solve the it works on my machine headache and they are incredibly efficient fast and they offer robust isolation well that's all we have for today on ashwas tech bites i hope this has given you a clearer understanding of uh, containerization and why it's such a cornerstone of modern software if you like our content please like share and subscribe ashwas for more see you in the next episode thank you